Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, January 5th, 2019. Look at my Samuel. There's my Samuel. Hey Samuel. It's 9.30 a.m. and it's 26 degrees and today we're going to have one minute and six seconds more daylight than we did yesterday. Look at that, Jimmy. I didn't sleep very well, and then once I moved downstairs to the living room on Audie's bed, uh, Sammy curled up with me, and um, Mikey came and curled up with me, and I just kept dozing in and out and having really bizarre dreams, half conscious, you know, and half asleep. Oh boy, I don't feel too bad. I hurt my back a little bit yesterday between some shoveling and some bike crashes. We got city, 24 sick city chickens up on the wire. Blue sky out that way. We got our coffee brewing. And uh, looking forward to a good cup of that. Yeah. Oh, Sammy, I love you. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's on the agenda for today. We can babble on a little bit about yesterday. I did go out to Rockport with my fat bike and... That that endeavor did not, uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't a real successful endeavor, I should say. The snow, it was it was over 40 degrees, man. I mean, it got nearly 50 degrees yesterday, so uh, the sun was, or the snow was really wet and slushy, and so there wasn't a lot of traction, and it was real brutal to pedal through it. And I honest to God thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> my, my chest was just a thumping. And uh, anyway, I tried doing some of the stuff off the big rock pile that I've been doing. I went up to the second highest peak on it and decided I was going to go for it there, figuring I wasn't going to be going all that fast because of the snow and it would help uh, cushion any falls I might have. And on one run, I, I fell down twice. I went down to the main point and uh, hit the plateau where I've been launching from fell over there because of the snow throwing me off course, went down the rest of the way, turned to go down to the main trail to come back out to the flat and crash there. I did ride along the uh, Bat Cave a couple times, that was successful, and, and down another little drop. I went down another one of my favorite drops and could not steer and ended up running over a, a small cedar tree. So After a couple of uh, things like that, I'm like, this this is not good today, so we're not going to do this. And I came home and, and shoveled the uh, driveway. What are you doing, Sammy? So right now, that's all we have. Uh, Max and Elsie are still outside. Mikey went in. Um, I don't know what else to tell you right at the moment, except that I'm kind of cold because I don't have a sweater or a jacket on. And we'll let Sammy in and wrap up. Look who just came in. It's my lady. How's my Elsie? How's my lady? Look at that pretty girl. Look at that pretty girl right there. That's my Elsie. That's my Elsie. You want to go back in the house now, honey? You want to go back in the house? That's my pretty girl. Hey, there you go. I love you, Elsie. Well, everybody's in now but Mackie. Fairly clear sky over that way. And we got city chickens regrouping and moving around. Three of them are over on the Smith's roof. Two are on the low wire there. The service wire and the rest are still sitting up on the, the main power line. Sun's trying to poke through the clouds over here. What adventure, hey? What an adventure. Now I'm going to do some pedaling around town today. Uh, as long as they stay out of the streets and out of the salt and slush. I just wish they did not use salt on the roads in this town. I wish they would use sand, but like someone I know used to say, if wishes were fishes, we'd all be in the sea, whatever that means. <laughs> so, we are going to pause again. My lady decided she wanted to come back out. Sammy's back out. Mikey's, I don't know where he's at. Uh, yesterday we... Watched a movie called River's Edge that came out in 1986, and it was about this guy that murdered his girlfriend, this high school student, and uh, his indifference to it, and all his friends' indifference to it, you know, and 
It was really something. I remember seeing it years ago on actually on a VHS tape, but that word indifference and uh, that seems to be a running theme with a lot of people in my life. And why I bring that up is just uh, just things you know over the years where I've come to realize if if it was anybody that but me engaging in certain behavior, I'd be hearing from people and. They'd be contacting me and whatnot. And, uh, to sum it up quickly, the latest one <laughs> at New Year's and then yesterday, another New Year's greeting to someone that I knew. I texted three words, Happy New Year, and still never received a response from this person. And I don't know. And this is another person that I can call and leave messages. And if I call, the phone doesn't get picked up. And... I don't know. I just don't know. So again, it's just going to be, I come to realize when it comes right down to it, it's just me and these loves. Hey, Mikey, come on, come on, cuddle with me, honey. That's my sweetheart. That's my Mikey. Yeah, people wonder why I only want to do stuff with my cats. <laughs> I wish they would bike. Or at least could go hiking with me, but they won't do that if I take them. Nah. But yeah, old people, people I've known a long time. There's very few, you know, and Tommy's, Tommy at the bike shop's one. I text him, he always texts back, and anyway, I don't know. We'll get off that, because it looks like it's shaping up to be a beautiful day, and uh, we got good coffee and good company here, and so... I think make he's going back out. Want to come back out, else? Come on. Come on back out. Come on, honey. Come on, else. I think I'm Mikey. You coming back out, hon? You want to come back out? Come on. Come on, honey. Yeah, we're going to have a good day. We're going to try to live from our hearts a life based on faith and not fear. But the things that we don't like... We do need to acknowledge and feel and process, and so that's why I did that. That little little bit I just went through right there about people. I don't hate them, but I feel better when they're not around for the most part. There you go, babes. There you go. Neighbor Bob came home and scared some of the some of my loves. All right, we're gonna pause again. We're still waiting on Maxie. Well, we're still sitting here, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the company of Samuel, and we're waiting on Max to come back in from his adventure. The city chickens decided to take a fly, and uh, nothing out there eating. Elsa and Mikey are inside. Uh, we're just gonna sit here and plug away at our readings and enjoy our coffee, and. Definitely got some espresso in mind. Um, yeah. Going to get out and do some riding. Going to pedal over to Tractor Supply to get a dozen eggs from Dawn at her farmer's market over there. And we'll, we'll see what else goes on, you know. Um, I do want to do some biking today, though. It looks like it's going to be another beautiful day near the 40s, if not more. And uh, we got to take advantage of these kind of days. Got to take advantage of these kind of days, but for now we're just going to sit and enjoy our coffee and plug away at our readings and enjoy the company of our loves. Well, look who's decided to come and see us. Maxie! Mickey! You want to come back in? We're just about finished with our readings and we're pretty much finished with our coffee. We're going to be making more of that. The question is, should I just make regular or should I make some espresso? Uh... We're going to have to tune in later to find that one out. There goes Mikey. We're going to get up and let Mackie in. Oh, there goes Mikey. Tammy, you got to let me get up and get Mackie in. Oh, but we've had a pretty good morning, and we're going to be sitting out here some more. So we're going to come let Mackie in, and then we are going to uh, go make some espresso. Come on, Mackie. Come on, buddy. Come on, Mark. Mackie, come on. Come on back up here. Come on. Come on, Max. Come on. There he is. All right, so peace and blessings, and you all have a great day.